almost as soon as uh, the superstar returns, his body disintegrates. Uh, his hip goes when he's doing a bear hug on a, on a jobber on like superstars or wrestling challenge or whatever it was. Uh, and he has to go um, and come and he comes back after a, a lot of vignettes of uh, rehabbing and everything. Uh, do you remember the injury uh, at the time? And um, did he ever sort of, I don't know if you were talking to him at the time, did he ever confide in you that he was a lot m more hurt than he was trying to let on? Well, he, he was, you know, I mean, he was real, seemed real frail and real. He ended up having a liver transplant. Mm. Is when the end, he's, after that, he's carried the picture of how his liver looked like a, you know, like a piece of bacon or something. Or just, you know, it was just fried from those years of, of staring. You know, he would, and, and like the, the karate pants, he would come and he was, you know, he was addicted to, 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 to pills and stuff. And they'd have the Ramada, the, the uh, you know, a little saloon downstairs, bar. You go in and have a, a bathroom on the side where you'd go in, you know, two or three stalls. Was it? He'd take, you know, a handful of downers and he'd go in and sit in there and he'd fall asleep, and lock the door, <laughs> and nobody could get in the bathroom <laughs> for hours and stuff. You know, it would, uh, you'd have to go get somebody, you know, some guy and help him out of the bathroom, you know, help him out of there. Almost like me puking in France. I don't remember that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> France, you know, you get with the bulldogs, a lot of things you don't remember. And then if you take a drink, you're drinking, you look back, there's all kinds of debris floating across around the top. You go, oh, my God, what did I drink? What the hell did I just do? But that was, yeah. The, the... It's like, goodbye evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice talking to you. <laughs> Uh, right, so uh, Billy comes back yet again. His body's knack. Uh, I'm using Brit British vernacular, but you know he's for the knackers yard. <laughs> he's 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 not he's not it's not working out physically. He can't do it. He's told he's not going to be wrestling in Survivor Series, uh, which we're actually going to be talking about in the next episode. And um, then he becomes your manager, uh, and you end up. Uh, and, and we will talk about this in depth at another time. Uh, we'll do a full episode on your babyface uh, run as the Rock. Um, which you raise your eyebrows and look up to the sky, mm -hmm. something you really hated, I know. Um, but uh, he becomes your manager, and then basically even he says that he wasn't a very good manager for you. Uh, what were your memories of him uh, being your mouthpiece as someone who's very good at promos anyway? Yeah, we just got started. We just got our feet wet, and then I got fired. So that was, you know, I, you didn't really get a chance. You know, it wasn't... Uh, he didn't really get an opportunity to exercise himself as a uh, as a manager, and you know, come up because in the, those are times they were getting uh, they would only show up for the garden, or maybe you know if you had a spectacular go at, at, the, at the, the Survivor Series and things like that were breaking down. And I don't even know if they were coming; they were showing up to those to those those matches as well. But they would only show up to the garden, and they get. Uh, you know, they're scolding their whole, you know, monsoon would, they get their payoffs and their checks. And then it'd be the next night would be in Allentown. That's when Lou would get fired for swearing at the old man. Hmm. Uh, it was, yeah, it was a vicious cycle. But yeah, I was, yeah, he was just, he just got started when I got finished. Well, do you know what, right? Um, this is like um, early November, late October 1987, and you left in October 88, so he was actually with you for a year. Okay. So, um, anyway, he basically said that um, he put too much of the spotlight on himself. Uh, how could he not, really, I suppose, uh, if you you know, that big and that flamboyant, so. Yeah, yeah, and he had the rap, you know. I could do it. Well, and I was a baby face, too. What the hell am I going to say? <laughs> It was like Pedro, like Pedro Morales. I love the beautiful people here. I love, you know, I love everybody. And, you know, when I, when I, two months earlier, I'm calling all, you know, fat pigs and <laughs> blowing my nose at them and stuff, you know. Just... I love all of you fat pigs out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least you got the, um, at least you got the uh, theme song, Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, of all the songs, yeah, of all your in intros, that was... Da, 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 you know, <laughs> Are you telling me that you're not a big fan of musical theatre? Ah! Not as you, not, 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 
Not normally, no. No, that's that's fair. Enough. Some of them, you know, it's, I spent the day I spent the day watching football, listening to old '60s tunes yesterday, watching NFL from seven in the morning till about five in the evening. So, so sort of a sort of a music accompanied by the theatre, the spectacle, the crucible of sport. <laughs> yeah. Um, hair. Yeah. <laughs> watching uh, yeah. First three acts of hair. <laughs> the only one I've ever seen live is Book of Mormon, and it's and it's technically a musical. It was really funny. It's that one with the you know the South Park guys did, and that that was that was a oh, good yeah. show. That was a good show. We used to go. We used to go Broadway every once in a while when I was living in New York. That was that was always entertaining. Mm. Yeah, that was a whole uh, whole different genre. Mm. Mm.